the most glamorous wedding guest. How Kate mastered the ultimate elegant evening look with a Jenny Packham gown and the lover's not tiara at the reception of Crown Prince Hussein and Rajwal Saif. The Princess of Wales mastered elegant party chic in her dazzling gold ball gown and tiara as she attended the wedding reception of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan and Princess Rajwa. Kate, 41, wore a show-stopping Jenny Packham gold Georgia gown costing approximately £5,000 which was embellished with sequins. She has previously worn the same design in green to attend the Royal Variety Awards in London. Last night Kate paired the stunning ball gown with a Prada clutch bag, the lover's not tiara, and her dame grand cross of the Royal Victorian Order sash. As she joined the Prince of Wales, 40, to attend the wedding reception at the Al Husseiniya Palace in Amman, Jordan, where she lived for three years as a child. The royal couple were also joined by Princess Beatrice, 34, who was wearing a champagne embellished dream acra gown, and Eduardo Mapley Monsi, 39. The UK royals dazzled in their evening outfits, with Prince William and Ado looking sharp in suits as they arrived to greet the newlyweds as well as Queen Rania and King Abdullah. And as the wedding reception got underway this evening, Royals from around the world donned all their finery to attend the celebration, where the bride and groom cut their wedding cake, which was made up of seven tiers. Earlier in the day, guests watched the nuptials of Sandhurst graduate Hussein and Saudi Arabian-born architect Rajwa, also 28, in the garden of the Tsar on Palace. Rajwa dazzled in a white gown by Lebanese designer Eli Saab, which featured a lengthy train embroidered with flowers and a sparkling diamond tiara. King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan proudly watched as their son was wed during an Islamic ceremony known as a kabteb held in a gazebo and conducted by the royal Hashemite court imam Dr. Ahmed al -Kayla. Kate, who lived in Jordan for a short period during her childhood, led the glamorous guests at the event in a blush pink lace dress also by Eli Saab. Beatrice wore a silver sequin gown from British label Neil and Thread for the occasion. In a touching nod to Queen Elizabeth, the newly married couple left the wedding for their reception in a 1984 Range Rover which was specially customized for her visit to the country. During the evening, royals from the Netherlands, Liechtenstein and Sweden changed into their ball gowns to attend the wedding reception of the newlyweds at Al Husseiniya Palace. They included Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, King Willem Alexander and their eldest daughter Princess Amalia, Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden and Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein. Esteemed U.S. politician Nancy Pelosi, former Speaker of the House of Representatives, also arrived at the wedding reception where she warmly greeted the bride and groom. Ahead of the event, Rajwa was driven to the palace in a 1968 Rolls Royce Phantom V which was custom made for the late Queen Zeyn al-Sharaf, the Crown Prince's great-grandmother. It was used by King Charles and Queen Camilla on a trip to Jordan in November 2021. The Prince and Princess of Wales also shared snaps of the Jordanian royal family's special day. In one snap, William and Kate were seen walking into the daytime reception side by side. Another showed Crown Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwal Hussein smiling at each other during the ceremony. Crown Prince Hussein was beaming throughout the wedding ceremony today. Rajwal also seemed overjoyed as they exchanged rings and kissed to seal their union. After the royal nuptials, several women performed Zagrada, Olaylation, a joyous sound commonly used to express happiness at Jordanian and Arab celebrations, and the newlyweds greeted their guests. Following the ceremony, the Royal Hashemite Court released a statement congratulating the royal couple on their nuptials. It read, The Royal Hashemite Court extends its heartfelt congratulations to Their Majesties King Abdullah II and Queen Rania al-Abdullah, as well as the Royal Hashemite family, and wishes Their Royal Highnesses Crown Prince al-Hussein and Princess Rajwa al-Hussein a lifetime of happiness. Prince William and Kate stopped to chat with the newlyweds for several minutes. The attendants of the British royals, who were spotted at a luxury hotel in Amman last night, had been kept under wraps, and was only confirmed by Jordanian state media a few hours before the start of the palace ceremony.